All right, look, man. Little struggle middle day was taken out old school. I don't, yeah, you know, disclaimer, I don't eat Wendy's. I don't eat McDonald's. But I wanted to give y'all a quick struggle, a little melt bang real quick. You know what I'm saying? Something you could just eat when you only got a few dollars in your pocket. So let's go ahead and get it started. I look good with my hair out, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Afro old market cut. Y'all know the reason why I don't have an afro is because as soon as I go to sleep, my hair gets back nappy. That's the reason why I do afro. So look, we got lemonade right here. Damn, I wish it was a way for me to. Cause usually I had this sitting on a layer and I can see like this right here. We can't even do that. This that's not that far back. You can't even push like this that far back. But um, you know what I'm saying? Sure what we got. Chicken sandwich, man. Mm. Don't promote eating this shit, man. This shit is like, it's highly processed, man. That's why I don't eat shit like this. But, bro, it's okay. Once in a while, you a real healthy nigga like me. You don't eat fast food more than three times a year, my nigga. Go ahead. Go ahead and enjoy your little McDonald's or Wendy's, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? You come from that. You used to eat that shit every day back in the day. Ain't nothing wrong with it, bro. Don't forget your roots. You know what I'm saying? And it's not really our roots, but it's just like... All to it. It's cheap, bro. I got all this shit for five dollars. I got four nuggets, mm. got a small fry. Mm. Honey mustard was free, basically free. A sandwich. I got a drink, nigga, for five dollars, dude. Mm. Yeah. So let me go ahead and show y'all everything, cause I can't really see unless I find an angle right now. There it is. My new angle right here. Well, bang shot, you already know. But y'all see, we got the chicken sandwich right here. No bacon, no cheese on there. Lemonade right there. First thing first, we do the we do we do something different. We always try the food first. Let's try the lemonade first, G. Lemonade is about like a four or five. Omar, is a four or five? It's not really lemonade, but it tastes like the lemonade I got in my refrigerator, my nigga. If I wanted lemonade in my refrigerator, I would've just got it out of my refrigerator. That's exactly what it tastes like. It don't taste nothing crazy. Y'all let me know which sauce y'all get for Wendy's the most, my nigga. Right now, I got the honey mustard thing. Y'all let me know which sauce y'all get for Wendy's the most. I got honey mustard. I don't know, I just like that honey mustard. I always been my favorite sauce from Wendy's. Somebody go ahead and try the nuggets. I didn't ask for nothing fresh, so be giving it a raw rating. You know what I'm saying? Let me know if y'all spicy or regular. I fuck with the spicy niggas. Omar, what you been up to? Omar, what you been up to? No. Uh, I forever have been up to. Man, I just been working, making content, man. Show with my family. Nuggets is mid, fries is mid. Try sandwich. The sandwich mid too. Yeah. Everything from Wendy's mid, but this is mud band, you know what I'm saying? It's not really tripping, man. I don't eat shit like this, so when I do eat shit like this, it's obviously for content. You know what I'm saying? I don't eat this on a regular. Like, I literally got sweet potato on the stove, but I'm taking that to work. So, basically, man, life update, man. It's basically, um, Time to get everything in motion. You know what I'm saying? It's time to um really do what I've been talking about for the some time. Every dollar, every penny, every nickel, every whatever I say is investing to my YouTube channel. 
I'm investing them into certain things from my YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Six months from now. It's going to be like a home. Whole different spectrum, bro. It's probably just whole different vibe, man. A lot of hard work per usual. I can't jump into the future, but I could tell you, man, like, I'm truly happy with myself with him. Like, I'm not worried about. I'm not, I don't need nothing particular or need anybody particular to do what I love, man. Like, I just want to bring content to my main channel and give y'all a good message to let y'all know that y'all, whoever y'all see on the internet, whoever y'all see whatever outside with the Mercedes Benz, whatever, I just want you to let you know that you can, you can get whatever you want. You can get that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> got to put a lot of time and effort in it though like shit don't happen overnight my nigga like anything you want my nigga anything you want little nigga big nigga old nigga young nigga you have to put the work in bro and a lot of people always they hear that but they're like what the fuck do y'all be talking about what work do we have to put in let me explain it you have to put the work in meaning that you have to do whatever you got to do to be where you want to be at. You got to start, my nigga. You could sit here and play and shit all day. You can save as much money as you want. None of that shit will work, my nigga, if you don't start the process. Starting the process is, is zero. It's free 99, my nigga. Starting the process is free 99. You don't need no professional camera. You don't need no professional editing apps. You don't need the best thumbnails. You don't need the best titles to get started on YouTube. You don't need the best rap. You don't need the best equipment to start rapping i know niggas i real life know people that do it off their phone they sell for and then they eventually invest in, into getting them a mic and you know whatever you from there bro to in order to get somewhere you have to start now you can save that pay you can save that little 400 dollar paycheck all day long as soon as you get that mic and nobody care about hearing your music because they don't know because you didn't start you didn't start yet nigga you didn't get on your grind that's like me saying, I'm not making a YouTube video unless I get my PC. Nigga, that's like eight months from now, bro. So I'm not going to upload not a single video. I'm not going to continue going through the process. Like that, I sound stupid, right? Like, you feel me? That's what I'm saying. That's what y'all literally sound like. Y'all sound stupid. Y'all have to start, my nigga. That's step number one. It's starting, nigga. Throwing spaghetti at the wall. That's step number one. Now, I don't care about none of this food. Nigga, I don't eat this shit. I don't eat only eat fast food like this, probably three times a year, a year, not three times a month, not once a month, three times a year. I don't eat fast food like this. All I get from fast food is French fries, my nigga. I love French fries. And that's once every couple months. And I'm being dead ass serious. You can ask anybody to know me personally. I don't eat fast food. Right now I'm doing a mud bay for my niggas, you know what I'm saying? Come on here. Give me all. Come on here, giving y'all and telling y'all the real. Anything you want in life is just a step away. It's literally a step away. It's down the street. It's it's a block away. Anything you want in life is literally right there. It's in the palm of your hand. It's up to you to grip it or you gonna let it slip out your hand. It's literally up to you. Can't nobody, nobody control it. I can't control it. I can't help you. Nigga, you gotta help yourself. That's one thing y'all don't understand. Y'all be touching all these bigger influencers. How you do it? How you do it? Do I not know most of these influencers been doing this shit more than like six, five years, bro? To get where they at? They didn't wake up and was famous, my nigga. They've seen that shit happen so They've seen 
a hundred subscribers, a hundred subscribers, a hundred subscribers to a thousand subscribers. Oh, another thousand subscribers over time, my nigga. And then they got one big ass video, probably got a couple million, couple million views, and they got a hundred K subscribers off of that. You know what I'm saying? Well, realistically, like 10,000 subscribers for that. And then they keep making more hit videos again, more, you know what I'm saying? More folks. Like, none of this shit happened overnight, dude. So basically, what I'm telling you, where you want to do something, nigga, just do it, bro. All right. Like, Omar, how you been, though? You don't really talk about success. Man, I've been on the grind, G. I've been, I've been grinding. I'm not worried about, um, not being distracted by stupid shit, goofy shit. Nigga, I've been staying focused on my purpose and my grinding, bro. My purpose come before anybody. Anybody. I put nobody before my purpose, G. My purpose come before any and everybody, bro. Because believe me, nigga, they was in the same position, they do the same thing, bro. Because if you just a mere distraction to my life, my nigga, I'm not prioritizing you, G. You still exactly who you at. Whatever whatever, you, whatever your role is in my life, play your role. You're a side character to my life. I'm the main character. I'm not treating myself like a side character for anybody. It's my life, my nigga. It's my lens. I, I can see it's my lens right here, my nigga. It's my lens. I'm not looking at your point of view. You look. I'm looking at my point of view. So why the fuck would I prioritize, prioritize anybody else but me in my life? That's why I don't understand why y'all do that shit. A lot of y'all do that shit. And it's not going back to the red pill, blue pill shit. Nah, y'all niggas is just goofies. Tough. For real, y'all real life goofies. It has nothing to do with no red pill, no blue pill. You're just a goofy. You're, you're just goofy. Even if I was blue pill, I don't think, I don't think I would ever prioritize anybody else in my life. Did I just confirm my red pill? It's pretty, it's pretty obvious, bro. Come on now. If you didn't know that, red pill rage is, is real, G. It's prioritizing yourself, G. Your purpose, man. Can nobody save you, nigga? You gotta save yourself, bro. Especially when you eat shit like this. If you eat this every day, smack yourself. The fuck are you doing? I would for you eat frozen food in the in the freezer and eat this shit. Why Omar, Omar, why you say that? You eating the same thing, but you're not continually spending five dollars, twenty dollars for some food. You're just being stupid. You know what I'm saying? It's a five dollar meal right here. But you paying five dollars every day to get this shit, it adds up, my nigga. What you paying a week? In a full week. You said five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five dollars, my nigga. A week on fast food. Somebody needs to slap the shit out of you. And plus you got kids. Nigga, that's like a hundred dollars a week. Yeah. I feel like this kill you, bro. Why I'm eating it? You might ask. Like I said, ain't nothing wrong once in a while. Just rip, you know, symbolizing, sympathizing. My shit you used to eat. Goofy shit you used to eat like this. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know, man. Y'all y'all spend them like buttons up. And y'all wanna see me. Eat Wendy's breakfast. I never had Wendy's breakfast, bro. Not that I remember. Bro. Probably when I was a kid, my parents probably got it from me. Because I ain't gonna fake it. But I never had Wendy's breakfast. So spam it up. Give me a like, bro. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. Like. Comment. Do it. Show me a form of way that you want me to try the Wendy's breakfast. Or you can just comment. Breakfast. You know what I'm saying? Simple. Word. Just breakfast. Um, I know exactly what you mean. Right now. Perfect time right now, right? So check the community post out. Ten dollar challenge. Right here, this is the five dollar challenge. But we haven't made this official yet.
So when you make it official, we gotta start up with something else because this type of fast food not even allowed. I bet you didn't know that. We want gourmet fast food. We don't want national big names like Wendy's. So this, this, this don't even count. This is just a mud band. You know what I'm saying? So no national food brands. I'd be a low key fast food. Fast food that most likely nobody tried. Because I'm gonna tell you why I'm doing that. I wanna try different food. Because I was like, just give me a $10 meal challenge. Niggas gonna name 20 different combos of McDonald's as $10 all together. First of all, I would never eat McDonald's again. So the closest y'all get to McDonald's is Wendy's for me. I swear to God. I'm not lying. If I do eat McDonald's, uh, I donate, I, I donate $100 to one of my subscribers. That's if y'all catch me eating McDonald's. Meaning if I make a video or I go on somebody else's channel with them making a video and if it involves me eating McDonald's, talk about I have to be full blown eating them motherfucker too, like eating the burgers, the fries, the apple pies, the bullshit, the shakes. I donate a hundred dollars to my subscribers. It be in a random video. I show the clip of me doing it, or it might be the actual video of me eating McDonald's. And then the first person to comment, cash app, hundred dollars. Swear to God, I'm not lying. On my soul, I'll do that. You know what I'm saying? That what happened, bro. Y'all catch me eating McDonald's. I swear to God, I'm not lying. I know it's never gonna happen, but I'm definitely gonna bust you guys in the future. Keep running it up on a thousand. We get a thousand subscribers. I might do I might do a little something. I got an idea. I'm gonna write it down after this video too. I got a little idea what I might do. I think I, think I got an idea what I might do for my guys. You know what I'm saying? Which I gotta keep showing up and showing love, man. We almost there. We almost halfway, bro. Almost halfway. What's coming on the way? What's new on the way? Um. Be honest, we're gonna do more public videos. Um, that's what's on the way. You know what I'm saying? I'm just keeping a thousand with y'all. We're gonna do more public videos. We're gonna do more public, more videos of us uh, buying food in public and eating in public and waiting, you know, bringing the honest in public. I feel like it's just about the salami sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Cause I can always get food to bring to the crib, but I've been doing that a lot lately. So I wanna get out. I, it's not, a, I'm not, I'm comfortable anywhere. Anything I do, I ain't gonna face. So it's not a comfort zone for me. I did it before in the past year. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to be doing that way more. Uh, it's a couple of weeks coming up. That's what we're talking about. We really got time to record in public videos. Um, next couple weekends. Be on the lookout for that. And yes, man. <laughs> it involves the $10 challenge, bro. It involves the $10 meal challenge. We're going to do a little get down. And y'all about to see how I get down with that. So that's what's going to happen with that. This is pretty much it. I'm gonna face the burger right here. That's everything right there. I'm gonna catch you on the next video. Oh, like, comment, subscribe. You know, we're on the road to 400, but we're on the road to 1,000. Again, man, show some love, man. We got a lot more stuff that y'all not expecting coming up soon, man. You know what I'm saying? I did confirm the first $10 challenge will be coming out soon. You know what I'm saying? Soon as it went, Omar. Next two weeks for sure. Next two weeks. At the time of this getting posted, I don't know when I'm going to post this. I will be doing the $10, the first $10 meal challenge two weeks prior to me posting this. I might be coming out next day after this. I don't know. <laughs> you could be a pussy, but uh, man, lay y'all niggas, man. Go. I'm about to enjoy this.
refrigerator or what lemonade I guess maybe. Go. Oh!